The attack on Pearl Harbor by Japanese forces came as a surprise to the United States and consequently resulted in the US entering the Second World War. Join me in this video as I bring the two aircraft from the Airfix Pearl Harbor Dogfight Doubles gift set together on their display stand. Hello and welcome to Model Minutes. This video is the third and final part of the mini-series featuring the Pearl Harbor Dogfight Doubles gift set from Airfix. In the first episode I built the Mitsubishi A6M20 and in the second video I completed the P40 Warhawk, both in 172nd scale. In this video I'll be assembling the display stand that comes included and completing my review of this set. Before we start building, as always, remember that adult supervision may be required due to the use of sharp tools and toxic paints and chemicals. Airfix recommends this kit for those aged 8 years old and over. Normally, in my videos, I assume that people watching have a little understanding of model kit construction. But for this one, I'm going to break it down a bit more for those of you who've been out of the modelling hobby for a while or are thinking of getting started for the first time. If you'd like to see the full contents of the gift set, check out the previous two videos. For this video, I'm going to focus on the construction of the display stand. The parts for the stand come on two sprues which are moulded in black plastic. A sticker is included which can be applied to the flat surface on the stand and it contains the names of the two aircraft included in the set. Carefully, peel this off its backing paper and place it in the correct location. Next, I cut all the parts from the sprue using a scalpel and trim the edges to make them tidy. There aren't any instructions included for the display stand, but the construction seems straightforward. I decided to paint the little Airfix logo that is included, so started off using Humbrol Enamel 34 Matte White, which I thinned with white spirit in order to avoid leaving brush strokes. Whilst that coat of paint was drying, I assembled the arms of the stand. These parts clip together and are made in such a way that allows them to swivel, allowing you to position the finished model at a range of angles. Some filing and cleaning up of these parts may be required to get them to fit properly. These arms are then pushed into the base of the display stand. Glue can be used here, but I decided not to. The P14-0 that I built in the previous two videos can then be added to the stand. The arms of the display base push up into the small holes on the bottom of the models that I drilled out during construction. My holes were just the right size and they were held firmly on the display base. Final alterations to the pose of the models can then be made to get a position that you're happy with. I decided to position the P40 behind and above the Zero to make it look as if it was chasing it. I then moved back to finishing the painting of the Airfix logo picking out the black parts which includes the letters in Humbrol 33 matte black acrylic, then using 174 signal red satin on the red areas of the logo. The logo was then left to dry and when ready it was pushed into the correct hole on the display stand. And here is the Pearl Harbor Dogfight Doubles gift set in its completed state. The display stand is the easiest part of this gift set to complete and I feel as though it does a good job of displaying the two models. It does feel a little brittle however, and if a heavier model was used, I'm not sure it would hold up too well. But for these two 172nd scale aircraft, it does a good job. As previously mentioned in the earlier videos, this set retails for about £20 in the United Kingdom, which is a reasonable price in my opinion, but as always I do like to try and find a deal, so manage to get it cheaper. Unfortunately, Airfix don't seem to be currently producing this gift set, but stocks may exist in other retailers. I'll add the link to the gift set on the Airfix website below, so you can check if they're back in stock. So overall, I've had fun building these models, and they have great detail and build quality. I'm happy with the way my gift set looks, and I'd certainly recommend it as a beginner's kit, because it comes with many of the paints you need, and has reasonably easy instructions to follow. As always, let me know what you think of my build, techniques and finished models in the comments below and if you're just starting out in the hobby or returning after a break, I'd be eager to hear what you've got planned for your first builds. I'm also keen to hear your suggestions as to other kits that you'd like to see me build on my channel, so feel free to post that too. 
All that's left to say is thanks for watching this video and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe in order to see more content and help support the channel. And feel free to share this video with your family and friends and connect with me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you all again next time.